Thanks so much, Liv. Well, New York State is on track to become the first U.S. state to create paid parental leave for pregnant moms. Governor Hochul says part of the new state budget includes actions to ensure pregnant New Yorkers get the help they need. That includes 12 weeks of fully paid parental leave benefits and giving them an additional 20 hours of paid sick time for prenatal care. It is expected to go into effect January 1st. New data from the CDC shows U.S. birthing rates hitting a record low with roughly 76,000 fewer births last year. It is the lowest one-year count since 1979. Fox 5's Michelle Ross has more on what may be behind this drop. Women are giving birth at record low rates in the United States, according to provisional data by the CDC. About 3.59 million babies were born in 2023. That's down from about 3.66 million in 2022, a 2% drop. Sociology expert Nicholas Mark says the numbers aren't concerning, at least not yet. Especially in the U.S.'s the high levels of immigration, we're, we're not, there's no population decline that's going to happen um, because of this. Births have been falling in the U.S. for more than a decade before COVID-19. There was an uptick in new babies during the pandemic, but the downward trend is back. <laughs> A potential factor could be the high cost of living. A recent survey from personal finance website NerdWallet found only 20% of non-parents under the age of 60 plan to have children. Many others say they're just too expensive. Birth rates have also been falling for teens and younger women, but rising for women in their 30s and 40s, which could indicate women pursuing school and careers before starting families. The CDC data was gathered from more than 99% of birth records from last year. The numbers could change, though, slightly once all the birth certificates are reviewed. I'm Michelle Ross, Fox 5 News. 